In a diagnostic lab, the ABO and RH blood grouping is done using a diagnostic kit that consists of monoclonal antibodies for A, B, and RH antigens. Monoclonal antibodies against antigen A, also called antisera A, comes as a blue-colored liquid reagent in a small bottle with a dropper. Monoclonal antibodies against antigen B, also called antisera B, comes in yellow color, while the anti-RHD monoclonal antibodies against RHD antigens, also called antisera D, is a colorless reagent. All the color codes are universal standards. To perform the ABO and RH blood grouping test, you'll need the following. A clean glass light or a white porcelain tile or a VDRL test plate. Pricking device such as a lancet or pricking pen. Alcohol swab or a cotton moistened with rubbing alcohol. Toothpicks, match sticks or capillary tubes. ABO blood grouping test kit consisting of antisera A, B and D antibody vials. To begin the test, first remove the ABO blood grouping test kit from the refrigerator. Homogenize the contents of the antisera antibody vials by inverting each bottle three to five times and allow them to equilibrate to room temperature. Meanwhile, take the pre-cleaned glass light and place it on a white sheet of paper or porcelain tile. Next, surface sterilize the tip of the middle or ring finger using a alcohol swab. Allow the alcohol to dry and then gently but briskly prick the finger using the lancet or the pricking pen. Always remember to use a new lancet or pricking needle for each person. You may or may not wipe off the first blood ooze. Now gently place four drops of blood on the glass light at more or less equal distances from each other. Do not place the two corner drops too close to the edges of the slide as it might pose some inconvenience when mixing later with the mixing stick. Then open the vials and place one drop each of the antisera A, antisera B, antisera D reagents in quick succession to the first, second and third drops of blood respectively. To the fourth blood drop, which is the negative control, add nothing else but a drop of normal saline. During reagent addition, always take extra care not to touch the tips of the reagent droppers with any of the blood samples. Once the three antisera and normal saline have been added to the test and control blood samples respectively, quickly and thoroughly mix the four blood drops individually using four different toothpicks or match sticks. Do not and never use the same mixing stick to mix all four drops. Once you have individually mixed all the reagent blood drops, leave the slide undisturbed for 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. At the end of this time period, check for agglutination or clumping of RBCs in the four mixture drops. For quick reference, clumping or agglutination looks something like the photo on the left as compared to the photo on the right, which shows no agglutination. The negative control is not expected to show clumping, in which case the experiment need to be repeated. The blood group of the tested blood sample will now depend on which of the three drops on the slide exhibit RBC clumping. This is a photo collage of the various agglutination patterns that can be seen on the slide for the various ABO and RH blood groups. In the blood sample that we have tested in this video, agglutination or clumping could be seen only in the third blood drop, which is the one mixed with the anti-sera D or anti-RHD antibody reagent. This clumping pattern can therefore be interpreted as the blood group O positive, based on the image collage previously shown. Hope this video helped. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share with friends, colleagues and students. Also, please do consider joining me on my channel membership or on Patreon. You can also send a super thanks of any amount, anytime. Thanks again for tuning in. See you soon with a brand new video.